everyone it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today we are making mushrooms we're going on an autumn walk and we are finding mushrooms if you want to make the mushrooms in the colors from the autumn walk then of course you'll be making them in stone and mocha and mocha and walnut in a the brown colors that are in the pack but of course toadstools they are red and white so if you want to include those in your garland uh, towards the end of the cal then you will have to find some white and some red as well now I made this one exactly the same way as I'm going to show you making these ones here but the only difference is before I actually added the cap to the stem I used my darning needle with a piece of white thread and I just made little white spots like that on the red cap before I actually sewed it on or crocheted it on better. Okay, let's get started with the forest mushrooms that we are making. So in your lighter colour, you're going to do a magic circle. So make a cross around your fingers, insert your hook underneath this strand here pick up this strand twisting it bringing it through twisting it again going back to that back strand twisting it again and making a chain take your fingers out and now we are going to do six single crochets so one Two, making sure you're working over your two strands three four five and six so one two three four yeah six now we are going to close the magic circle hold it in your thumb and your fingers here so it doesn't twist round there we go so it's closed up now look and we are going to close it with a slip stitch. Now, if you count back, one, two, three, four, five, six, you go under the sixth V and you do your slip stitch. So keep this tight, do your slip stitch. And now you have seven V's going around the outside of your work. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we are going to do chain one and we are going to do seven stitches. So into the first one that you see, there we go, seven single crochets around the outside of your work. And because we are not increasing, you'll soon see that we're actually making a tube or something like that anyway. Because we're making the stem first, of course. There we go. So let's just count to four, six and shape it a little bit so you can get your hook under that sixth V. And you are going to do a slip stitch and that will then, it's all very fiddly, that will then become your seventh V. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. <laughs> it doesn't take long to count them. So just, you know, make sure you have them. And I don't know whether you can see, but I've got a bottom sort of shape and then standing up first row so i'm going to just pull this and a little bit closed so my bottom of my stem closes up now try and hold it in your hand in a sensible way do a chain one and once again we do six single crochets going under the v's carefully going round trying to hold on to it in a sensible way and 
and yeah there we go so it's a little bit of a cup shape there we go that's my next stitch and the next one there we are and there's the next one <laughs> right okay so if you don't know anymore how many you've done that's fine just count back one two three four five i still see a sixth one there so i sure yeah that is the sixth one here okay so you are going to go and go under that one don't get confused with this end go under that one let me just tighten this up a bit there we go so one, two, three, four, five, under the sixth one. Pick up both loops and do your slip stitch, making the seven stitches. Now, I am getting very annoyed by this here. And to be honest, I am going to be using that as my stuffing. So the end is long enough for me to just push that in with the back of my hook. Look, I just folded it a couple of times and it works. Look, there we go. So I push that in out of the way. And of course I've put the, oh no, I thought I put my working yarn in there as well. Okay, so you just push that down and that way your end is in there and it, you don't need to put stuffing in. It would be hard to put stuffing in, I suppose. Right, okay, so now we are going to do another row. And to be honest, you can make this stem as tall as you want to, uh, because obviously mushrooms do have various heights of stems. And I think in the pattern I give you about um, four rows, so three rows on the side of the stem. The first row is, of course, the little circle that we do to get started, the flat bit of the stem and making sure you are still doing your six stitches and then your slip stitch two four five so I've got to do another one right in there there we go and my sixth one here under that one and do a slip stitch there we go Okay, so this is now my stem. Now I've finished it, but of course we are going to change colour. And you know how I change colour? Yeah, by undoing my last pull through, whatever it was. Let me just cut off my yarn here. And this time I'm going to use walnut for the underside. So I'm going to hold on to the walnut like so, as if I was already crocheting with it go back under that sixth V there and finish it just like I did before, but of course with the new color. Now we are going to do two chains, one, two, disregard this chain for now. Okay. And now in each V of my little stem here, I am going to do two half double crochet so yarn over insert pull up a loop yarn over pull through t three pull through three and that will give us 14 v's on the outside of our work okay there we go and you will notice straight away that the shape of your work changes quite considerably look at this look see and once again, I can't continue until these are gone because it's getting getting to me. I push these in with my the back of my hook and it goes quite quickly. And I have left them quite long on purpose so that I can use them as a little bit of stuffing there. Okay, so just pushing them in like so, just making sure you don't put in push in any of your working yarn. Okay. 
there we go okay so now we continue two half double crochets in each stitch around there we go and once you get to that last stitch here where you've got your chain coming out of that chain counts as my second half double crochet so you put another one in go under the v and do a slip stitch there we go and if you count you should have 14 v's going around the edge of your work and this is the end of that color so we're going to cut it off pull it out like so and then generally i just go it through a next stitch there loop my yarn around and bring it to the back and once again i shall make sure that it's sort of lying in there as that mini amount of stuffing for my mushroom okay so that's the stem and the what's it called gills of the mushroom there we go now for the cap go back to your light color make a slip knot And we are going to chain 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 19 and 20. Now, we are going to use, not this one, but this one. So the second stitch from your hook. We are going to use that one as our magic circle. So the first one is going to be our turning chain, so to speak. This one here is going to be our magic circle. So in there, we are going to do six single crochets. And as you can see, it's slightly turning round. Look. How many have I done? One, two, three, four, five. Another one. Six. There we go. Okay, now this is underneath for now. Just let it be underneath. We are now going to go under the sixth V. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the sixth one because this is our turning chain. And we are going to do a slip stitch. So that has now given us our little um, magic circle with seven Vs on the outside. But we want the chain to be up from here because this is the outside of our work so just go into the circle and pull it up there we go okay and now we are going to do a second row where we are going to do two half double crochets in each stitch around so chain two disregard then from the next stitch you're going to do two half double crochets in each stitch and so from your seven stitches you should end up with 14 v's going around the outside of your work there we go so we are here in the location where we just need to add one because that chain is going to become one. Then we go under this V here, picking it up and doing our slip stitch. There we go. Okay, so this is the cap of the mushroom. It has a string attached to it for hanging it on our garland. Now we go back to our stem. And making sure that our stuffing is inside, put it against the cap and we are going to chain one, go into that first V here, pick up both Vs, then anywhere on the stem, pick up the two Vs of the one 
from below, from the stem, and bring it through and do a single crochet. Same thing again, pick up both strands from both Vs, both on the cap and on the stem. And we just do one single crochet in each stitch. Now, if you want to put a little bit more stuffing in, you could, but I would just put a little bit of thread in if I wanted to put more in, um, because it's not going to be worth actually putting in actual stuffing. <laughs> okay, I think that's a little thread that gets getting in the way there. There's the next one here. So yes, try and tally them up as good as you can. And of course, we have 14 stitches on our cap and we have 14 stitches on the stem part. So that should tally up. And if it doesn't, you'll just have to make it tally up. There we go. And just one more here and I've got something yeah i've got a stitch here to pick up there we go right so we pull it up cut it off pull it out and then what i do is with my needle i put it on and then i do an invisible stitch there we go go back to there and then into the mushroom like so just coming out wherever. There we go. So we've got an invisible stitch there. And I do this a couple of times just to, you know, secure the end, basically. You're not going to see that. And let me just cut this off. And then I just shape it a little bit so it looks a little bit more <laughs> mushroomy. And there you go. There we have it. That's our little mushroom and I have a few more to make for my garland. So I'm hoping that you will join me in making the garland in a few weeks. for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Before you go, please like and share this video. 
ring the bell so you're notified of new videos. Join our community on Facebook and here are some more videos you might find interesting. Thank you so very much for watching and come back soon. Bye!